Join us now is Linda and therapist Dr. Jen Berman. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Thank you. Ladies, okay, you're 52, he's 23. Correct. Okay. Jen, before we get to how this can possibly work, uh, why isn't Charlie here? He was supposed to come. Uh, I think he's working. He's dirt biking. Yeah, he's out <laughs> dirt biking, right. <laughs> There's got nothing more to it than that. It's, what's the status of the relationship now? Has it survived the show, and are you dating Charlie right now? Yes. You are? Yeah. There's Charlie right there. There he is. So how long now? Everybody with the platinum hair. blonde yeah. hair. Linda. Does he have to have the platinum blonde hair? Everybody says yeah. stuff about the blonde hair. I'm like, yeah, we all bleach it with the same stuff, folks. You know, whatever. <laughs> so still together. So now it's been, is it three and a half years? It's been almost four. And, you know, we, we're just taking it day at a time. I mean, you know, we're like everybody else, which is one of the reasons why we went on couples therapy on VH1. Because, you know, it's not a, a conventional relationship. And um, Is it exclusive? Yes, it is exclusive, and it has been ever since we met. But um, I think, you know, taking it one day at a, at a time is the way that we're going to do it. I mean, we've been dating the longest out of any, like, relationship with a cougar and a younger guy. You know, we're, we're not really ready to take the plunge for, you know, marriage yet. We're just kind of feeling it out. We're having fun. We're enjoying our lives together. Does so. he want to get married? Yes, we've talked about it, and um, it's something that we think about, you know, doing in the future. It's just, you know, there's a lot of things to discuss, and that's one of the reasons why we decided that it would be good to go on the show, because I think I came away from my 24-year marriage with a few trust issues, and, um, you know, and learning how to kind of embrace life again after uh, being married for so long. And Dr. Jen was just absolutely so um, amazing in bringing all of the celebrities on the show humbling them, taking the celebrity out of us and bringing us down to our core selves and, and really trying to open up and, and realize that, you know, we're people, things that people say out in the public do hurt. Um, they do have an impact on our lives. And, you know, we have to, we are stuck dealing with that in the public eye. Charlie, so. Char okay, so Charlie was your, your son's friend. How old were, was Charlie when you first met him? He was not my son's friend. They did attend the same school different years, but uh, he was 19 and I was 48. Okay, so he was 19 when you first met him. Yeah. And did the action begin right away, if you don't mind me asking? Hell yeah. Right, <laughs> right to it. Where Absolutely. did you see him? Where did you meet him? He was... Uh, we were walking on the beach. I was with my son and I said, gosh, you know, you need to just walk up and see if that guy is really as cute up front as I think he is from here. You know, I'm been divorced about 10 months and I was like thinking I could use a little company <laughs> and um, you know he said yeah mom he's really cute but I think I might know him and I said oh you know, we didn't think it would work out once I met him um, he was at the same school but he didn't know my kids but he was an old soul he was um, he really at is. a time he came in at, at a place when I really needed somebody that's there to listen and to, to, to be with me and he was just um, my soulmate right but off. What did your son the say? You're with your son, and that's his buddy or knows him. You know like. what? After the divorce that I had gone through, and, and the hurt, and the the you know, there's 24 years of your life, you know, packed up in cardboard boxes, and I was just crying every day. I was on the treadmill, and went, <laughs> it was really hard to pick myself up and move on. And he helped me with that. You know, Is this sustainable, Jen? Yes. And, and I think that, you know, I came into this and I talked to Linda about it quite a bit with my own bias. And she came in and saying, look, I have these trust issues. Like, trust issues? Are you kidding? Look at this 29-year age difference. We need to talk about this. But what I saw is that Charlie is really very much an old soul and Linda is very much young at heart. And when you see their relationship, there's something about it that just works. And it, it kind of... It, it defies what you expect from a couple with that kind of age difference, but there's something, there's a really soulful connection between the two of them that you can't miss when you see them together. Okay. Hey, Interesting. couples therapy, watch it in action tonight at 10 on VH1. Now, Linda, let me tell you something. You're 52. Yeah. Let me show you a 52 year old man. You want to see a 52 year old no, man? No, thank you. <laughs> thank I got you. one. I got one right here in the control room. His name is Rob Silverstein. Now, that guy right there, look at that. That's 52. That's 52, baby. Well, he looks like a Rob man. Rob is a hottie. What do you run. think, Linda? Come on, baby. What do you think? <laughs> not going to lie. Rob is not a typical 52. Rob looks like No he's platinum 30. hair, but he's yeah. got a great tan. He's we very fit. He's fit. <laughs> He can run circ tell her, you can run circles around Charlie. Jen, what Charlie do you think has, about it? Charlie I don't know. has no I game. Little, none. Little none. Hair, some extensions. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh, Rob. He said Rob. Charlie has no game. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> wow. Flat right. everything. Everybody's hey. happy. That's all that matters. Yeah. I bet there's a lot of going on, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about.